Hi, it's sort of a rainy day here in New York, so I thought it might be interesting to go back and look at one of my old journals. Um, a lot of these are ones that I filled in long before I even started blogging, and um, occasionally you'll find some of these drawings that I'm going to show you probably appeared in Everyday Matters or possibly in the Creative License, but uh, I'll show you what an entire book looks like and kind of tell you how I did it and what, what is the story behind it. Here's the shelf where I keep uh, some of my journals. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This is, uh, yeah, this is a good one. Let's kind of look at this one here. This is a journal that I kept uh, many years ago, actually. It's 11 years now since I've kept this. It's a book that I bound myself. And uh, you can see it's not terribly expertly done, but quite like the um, colored marbleized paper I used here. And I made these end leaves that are end papers that are uh, a map of the area that I was visiting in Death Valley. And uh, I scorched it in, in various places you can see here, just to give it that kind of distressed look. It was about a trip that I took to Death Valley, region of mystery, desolation, and grandeur in uh, February. And um, I, it's a trip that I went to for about a week with uh, my friend Dan Price. Here you can see uh, Las Vegas. I was just re beginning to use watercolors there, so the colors are a little bit um, murky. And that's in part because I was using probably the cheapest, crudest kinds of um, watercolors that I could find. I had things here like uh, a little description on the paper from the Flamingo where we were staying and some various ephemera that I picked up whenever possible. It's nice to get a little rubber stamp like that. And, you know, generally I found Las Vegas to be utterly tedious and plastic, so I didn't have a terribly great time drawing there, but we were really there just to, to get together and to head out on our trip, which is where we began. Here you can see some drawings of what I call dead places near Death Valley. These are all basically drawn with a micron pen and um, brush markers, producing things like this gray and a little bit of watercolor on top, but, but generally some what appear to be quite dried out brush markers and some not very nice looking calligraphy. At this point I wasn't really using the dip pen to do that. And a lot of this was done in situ, so it's kind of crude. Here's the view that we saw first thing in the morning, getting out of our tents. It was the Black Mountains here on the horizon. Again, colored in with magic, uh, sort of felt tip magic markers and uh, brush pens. Some of these were drawn with a very uh, fine point, disposable uh, pen, ink pen. I was really into these very fine lines at the time. And I love doing this kind of thing where you get all this detail. You can see more watercolor action. Here's a plane that I drew outside of what turned out to be a brothel up here on the hill. And we went up to the, uh, to the brothel here, the Angel Ladies Brothel. And met the madam and got some information about this plane, which had apparently been brought in to, uh, to generate press and uh, publicity for the brothel. And the ladies were supposed to um, skydive out of the plane, but it turned out they weren't really that eager to do that. And the plane ended up just being left to abandon in a field. And uh, when we went up to the brothel to find out the story, they got so excited by our drawing that they made copies of it. and apparently had them framed and are now hanging in the lobby of the brothel. This is a technique where I would start to do a drawing <clears throat> with a pen and then move in with uh, brush markers to get sort of finer and finer, or softer details that create a sense of texture.